The Nizhny Novgorod Aviation Plant, Sokol, has completed the first stage of production preparation for the underbelly compartment, UBC, of the MC-21 civilian aircraft. The underbelly compartment is a multifaceted unit that includes all forms of production, including stamping, mechanical assembly, metallurgy, forging and pressing, casting, and aggregate assembly. In 2022, the decision was made to establish a parallel UBC production section at the plant in response to the substantial burden of other aviation enterprises. At present, the Ulyanovsk aviation facility Aviastar is producing the underbelly compartment for the MC-21-310 fuselage. Nizhny Novgorod aviation engineers had to adopt new technologies, such as surface hardening through shot peening, in order to develop the underbelly compartment for the MC-21 aircraft. This unique process significantly enhances the durability of components, which is one of the most critical parameters in civil aviation. The Nizhny Novgorod plant successfully completed numerous key tasks during this period, including the preparation of the section for compartment assembly and the enhancement of the plant's technical capabilities. Concurrently, the technical department was engaged in the development of equipment for UBC production. The development process was divided into two phases, after the plant's specialists conducted a comprehensive analysis and study of the equipment, materials, and assembly and riveting processes. The initial stage of the plan involves the final assembly of the compartment from the upper and lower sections, which are received from partner companies, out of jig work, system installation, additional assembly, final riveting of seams, and the subsequent transfer of the compartment along the cooperation chain. Additionally, the hermetic bottom of frame 60 will be connected to the rim. The second stage entails the transition to a full cycle assembly of the underbelly compartment, which necessitates special equipment for automatic riveting, as specified in the design documentation. The equipment is being developed in close collaboration with TZGI, Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute. It is important to note that this automatic riveting system is the first of its kind to be developed in the aviation industry in Russia, with the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation providing support. During the production preparation process, it was crucial to guarantee the assembly equipment's precision, automation, and technological efficiency. The successful preparation of the section for assembling the MC-21 aircraft's underbelly compartment in the aggregate assembly workshop within the planned timeframe was made possible by the coordinated efforts of various plant departments that actively participated in the design and manufacturing of this equipment. The section is ready for work and is awaiting the delivery of UBC elements from collaborators as part of the first stage. At present, the Nizhny Novgorod Aviation Plant is in the process of completing the second stage of the project, which involves the design and production of equipment for panel assembly, upper and lower portions, and the manufacturing of jig duplicates to guarantee high aircraft production volumes. A significant amount of work awaits, requiring the collaboration of specialists from a variety of departments at the Sokol Aviation Plant. Furthermore, the aviation facility is engaged in the production of components for the MC-21 door mechanisms. This includes mechanical components for emergency opening systems, securing mechanisms, and much more. The development of this aspect is in its final stage. Currently, the plant is successfully implementing a complex and highly critical component, the Stabilizer Repositioning Mechanism Attachment Unit, SOCOL, started the setting up of production divisions for the manufacture of components for the medium-haul MC-21-310 aircraft at the end of 2023. As part of production diversification, the plans call for the renovation, equipping, and operation of 12 new production sections at Sokol by early 2026 to manufacture MC-21-310 components. The company's primary focus is on military aircraft, However, in 2015, it was determined to manufacture L-114 aircraft for the civilian market. The facility has previously provided components for the Airbus A318 and A319, as well as the M101T Gisel light passenger aircraft. Sokol is also preparing to expand its facilities in order to broaden the range of components for the IL-114-300 regional turboprop aircraft. The fuselage sections of the L-114-300 are manufactured by Sokol. 
The panels for the EL-114-300 fuselage are manufactured at the Aviastar Aviation Facility in Ulyanovsk and transported to Nizhny Novgorod via road. At present, Sokol is responsible for the production of approximately 40% of the IL-114-300's assemblies and units. The aviation facility in Lukovitsi, located near Moscow, is the site of the IL-114-300's final assembly. Sokol will also continue to fulfill state defense orders for military aircraft from the MiG-31 and MiG-35 families. Now, do you think Russia should have separated the military and civil aircraft production in Sokol? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel. Please also take our memberships to encourage us.